but uh, you can see how this is valid. How you take a boring, uh, silly old product like a welding machine, you apply data in a smart way, and all of a sudden it's a whole new ballgame. And we definitely see opportunities like these, and our customers, uh, they spend their days and night, nights obsessing about the similar things, not missing this window of opportunity of using something new to completely change uh, their strategic position uh, and the rules of the game. So we already talked about this, what does the other data incubator do? And we are on a mission to make money at the end of the day, of course, we want to build successful broad businesses. What do we offer besides taking you through uh, that complicated looping picture that I showed from design thinking to growth, growth hacking? Uh, what we do is offer you uh, the chance to use our technical platforms and tools, to use our technical experts also, architects, uh, security people, programmers, and also experts like uh, lawyers and other folks who can support uh, an idea. And we also have a business platform, uh, 1,500 relevant uh, sizable customer relationships here in the Nordic, uh, hundreds of salespeople, uh, and we can certainly uh, go to meet these customers together and see uh, how they like uh, to go about uh, new data and AI related ideas. So we are offering a business platform, technical platform, coaching support, facilities also. Basically we offer almost anything else uh, except, except funding. And uh, we already have a degree of success with this. And we've already managed to work with startups, uh, taking them to customers and then uh, closing deals uh, for the customer's benefit of, of getting access to these startup uh, products that otherwise uh, they would have even know, known that uh, are uh, in existence probably. It's easy to miss if you're not looking. What kind of AI things we do? Well, there's a lot of uh, traditional machine learning also and a lot of supervised learning stuff to do with just uh, statistical mathematics, Bayesian, Bayesian statistics, and uh, just random forest algorithms, and uh, all of the kind of long, uh, long follow classic uh, branches of uh, machine learning. But besides that, we are also toying around with neural networks. There's a lot of different neural network architectures around. This is 27 architectures pictured right here that are kind of useful. Uh, some of these are super interesting. Uh, one, of, one of the things that I'm uh, trying to find more and more use cases of all the time uh, is these generative adversarial <coughs> networks. So basically this is a uh, neural network architecture that has two neural nets that uh, act as adversaries to each other. So you have one uh, part of the, uh, if we call it AI, you have one part of the AI who's trying to forge uh, Picasso. It's trying to forge the perfect Picasso forgery uh, trying to create fake art that looks like a genuine Picasso. And then you have another part of the AI that's uh, trying to act as an art expert and it's trying to identify the real Picassos from the fake things. And these, these two kind of have a fight uh, and they, they learn from each other and after a while and many generations going at it, you start to have AIs that are pretty, pretty damn good forgeries and AIs that are pretty damn good at art experts at identifying the fakes. So uh, neural network architectures like these can be used to generate uh, fairly realistic things like uh, it's uh, extensively used in graphics and gaming uh, to generate content that just comes uh, out of the uh, AI's ability to uh, do it in a similar process like a human would do it. Uh, uh, entry is really easy. That uh, It's even easier than approaching a, a venture capitalist. So we don't require anybody to write an extensive business plan at first. We just need to understand kind of who you are and what the idea is and, and what do you think about where it could be applied at first. So basically just doing a uh, value proposition canvas is, uh, is enough. If you know this tool from Alex Osterwalder, uh, who invented the uh, business model canvas, he has a more simpler tool called the value proposition canvas. Give me your you got